Tractor trailers often encounter different state laws governing highway transportation if they cross state lines. Do such state laws ever violate the Dormant Commerce Clause doctrine by unduly burdening interstate commerce? The United States Supreme Court addressed this issue in Castle v. Consolidated Freightways Corporation. Consolidated Freightways Corporation was an interstate transportation company that served customers in 48 states, including Iowa. It used two main types of tractor trailers, a 55-foot rig with single trailer and a 65-foot rig with two trailers. The state of Iowa enacted a statute prohibiting 65-foot rigs from driving within the state. The statute had several exceptions favoring Iowa residents, including one for Iowa truck manufacturers who were permitted to have rigs as long as 70 feet. In order to comply with the law, Consolidated Freightways couldn't use its 65-foot rigs to move commodities on the roads passing through the state. The company either had to use smaller rigs to travel on Iowa roads or had to bypass the state. No other state in that part of the country prohibited 65-foot rigs. Consolidated Freightways sued Raymond Castle and other Iowa officials responsible for enforcing the law in federal court in Iowa, contending that the law unconstitutionally burdened interstate commerce. Iowa contended that the law was a reasonable safety measure and also reduced road wear within the state by diverting truck traffic to other states. After a bench trial, the district court found that there was no valid safety reason supporting the law because a 65-foot rig with two trailers was as safe as a 55-foot single-trailer rig. On the state official's appeal, the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit affirmed. The Iowa officials appealed to the United States Supreme Court, 